Hey, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I want to talk about Azure AI, but most importantly, AI 900, a certification that gets you into the industry for that particular domain and touches on important topics such as machine learning and techniques used in machine learning, such as regression, classification, clustering. And very importantly, it also touches on how these techniques can be applied utilizing Azure AI services. So in this video, what I want to do is not to take you through the whole content of the certification. There is some content online that you can find on this, but actually what I want to do is take you through the official free assessment that is available for everyone and anyone that has access to Microsoft Learn portal. So if you are keen to learn more about this material, you can find it all online. The link will be in the description. And what this is, is essentially a link to free exam preparation resources from Microsoft, right? So these are free assessments in an overview style and difficulty questions that put your knowledge to test against the curriculum and the format uh, that you should know for the exam. So it's very easy to get started. Uh, I've already chosen the AI 900 exam and what they intend to do is of course go through the content with you so that you can understand what sort of questions you can expect from the exam. All right, so let's go through question one. Which artificial intelligence technique serves as a foundation for modern image classification solutions? So as part of this, we have to understand uh, AI techniques uh, and understand what modern image classification solutions uh, utilize. Now, as part of these the options here, we have the first option being anomaly detection. Second option is deep learning. Third option is linear regression. And fourth option is multiple linear regression. So generally, when we talk about image classification, we're talking about an algorithm that can look at images and compare them against each other. Now, the benefit of us doing this here through this platform is that we can check the answers that we provide in real time. For this particular question, uh, the answer is deep learning. And it provides us with an explanation and even a link for more information and its, its study for us to review. So therefore, deep learning is the answer and it states, modern image classification solutions are based on deep learning techniques. A normally detection analyzes data collected over time to identify errors or unusual changes. Both linear regression and multiple linear regression use training and validating predictions to predict numeric values. So that's the difference there. So they are not part of image classification solutions. All right. So next up, let's go to question number two. The question is, which process allows you to use optical character recognition, which is also called OCR. Option one, digitizing medical records. Option two, identifying access control for a laptop. Option three, identifying wildlife in an image. Option three, translating speech to text. So what this question is testing us is the understanding of what optical character recognition is. Essentially, this is an algorithm or a technique that is applied to a photo of a text and for, for the algorithm to identify what characters there are in that particular text. It's very simple. So what, which of these use cases can actually make use of that kind of technique? The only one I can think of is the first one, digitizing medical records. So let's go ahead and check the, the answer. And it's exactly that. So the answer is, and let me explain to you, the answer is digitizing medical records can, uh, can use OCR. And the exp full explanation is OCR can extract printed or handwritten text from images. In this case, it can be used to extract text from scanned medical records to produce a digital archive from paper-based documents. It also states the answer that identifying wildlife in an image is an example of a computer vision solution that uses object detection and is not suitable for OCR. Identifying a user requesting access to laptop is done by taking images from the laptop's webcam and using facial detection and recognition to identify the user requesting access. As for translating speech to text, 
is an example of using speech translation and uses the Azure AI speech service as part of Azure AI services. Great. So we know that OCR can be utilized for digitalizing medical records. Next up, question number three. What allows you to identify different vehicle types in traffic monitoring images? So it's gauging our ability to understand what techniques can identify different objects in an image. So is it image classification, linear regression, object detection, or optical character recognition? So the question here is, it's gonna be either image classification or object detection, right? We know linear regression only applies to numbers, and we know that optical character uh, recognition only applies to text. So therefore, we need to identify uh, different vehicles, vehicle types in traffic monitor images. So I would say that it's most likely to be object detection at this point. There we go, checking the answer, this is the correct answer. So, and reading out the, the uh, explanation here, object detection can be used to evaluate traffic monitoring images to quickly classify specific vehicle types, such as car, bus, or cyclist. Linear regression is a machine learning algorithm training algorithm for training regression models. Image classification is part of a computer vision that is concerned with the primary contents of an image, and OCR is used to extract text and handwriting from images. Okay, next up, question four. What can be used for an attendance system that can scan handwritten signatures? Okay, what can be used for an attendance system that can scan handwritten signatures? So we need to identify text in an image. Is it face detection? Is it image classification, object detection, or optical character recognition? So we've went through something similar before. It's not face, it's not image classification, it's not object detection, it's rather optical character recognitions. And that is in fact the correct answer. And uh, the explanation for it reads out that OCR is used to extract text and handwriting from images. In this case, it can be used to extract signatures for attendance purposes. Face detection can detect and verify human faces, not text from images. Object detection can detect multiple objects in an image by using bounding box coordinates. And bounding box coordinates is going to be an important concept for you to understand as well. And the exam will pop up a lot. It is not used to extract handwritten text. And lastly, image classification is is the part of computer vision that is concerned with the primary contents of an image. Okay, next up, question five. Which feature of a computer vision involves associating an image with metadata that summarizes the attributes of the image? This is a great question. So which feature of computer vision and narrows down our, uh, our field of and our scope of um, domain here, which is computer vision, involves associating an image with metadata that summarizes the attributes of that image. So option one is categorizing. Option two, content organization. Option three, detecting image types. And option four, tagging. So for this, we need to understand what terms are, are utilized as part of metadata and attribution of um, metadata to image. So Azure Computer Vision can apply tags to images. And this goes back to the metadata of that image. Therefore, the answer should be tagging. Let me go ahead and check it. Yeah, absolutely. Tagging is the right answer here. And the explanation is, tagging involves associating an image with metadata that summarizes the attributes of the image. Detecting image types involves identifying clip art images or line drawings. Content organization involves identifying people or objects and photos and organizing them based on the identification. Categorizing involves associating the contents of an image with a limited set of categories. Okay, next up, question six. Which three parts of the machine learning process does the Azure AI vision eliminate the need for? So we need to, un to understand and know the three parts of machine learning process. This is quite an in-depth kind of question for the exam. And each correct answer presents part of the solution. So for this kind of question, we need to understand the parts that machine learning process uh, within Azure AI Vision is made up of. So by looking at the answers here, uh, we know that it's about choosing a model, evaluating the model, and training the model. 
So when I go to check the answer, that is exactly right. And uh, so the three parts of mach the machine learning process um, that Azure AI Vision eliminate the need for is choosing the model, evaluating a model, and training the model. And the explanation is the computer vision services eliminates the need for choosing, training, and evaluating a model by providing pre-trained models. To use computer vision, you must create an Azure resource. The use of computer vision involves inferencing. Okay, so question seven. The question is, which analytical task of the Azure AI Vision service returns bounding box coordinates? So again, it's a service that looks at images and provides a bounding box, so a square around objects. So the options are image categorization, or option two, object detection, option three, optical character recognition, OCR, or option four, tagging. Well, the bounding box coordinates essentially look at, like I said, a square on top of objects that are identified. So that, therefore the answer must be object detection. When I go ahead and check the answer, yes, that is right. So the analytical task of Azure AI Vision service that returns bounding box coordinates is object detection. And the summary or the confirmation by the service, by the assessment is Detecting objects identifies common objects and, for each, returns bounding box coordinates. Image categorization assigns a category to an image, but it does not return bounding box coordinates. Tagging involves associating an image with metadata that summarizes the attributes of the image, but it does not return bounding box coordinates. OCR detects printed and handwritten text in images, but it does not return bounding box coordinates. There we go. Next up. Question eight, which feature of the Azure AI language service includes functionality that returns links to external websites to disambiguate terms identified in a text? So option one is entity recognition. Option two, key phrase extraction. Option three, language detection. Option four, sentiment analysis. So the answer here is related to the entity, right? Because it's uh, identifying or returning the link to external website to disambiguate items or terms identified in a text. Therefore, we need to identify entities in that particular text. So therefore, the answer is entity recognition. And the explanation here is entity recognition includes the entity linking functionality that returns links to external websites to disambiguate terms identified in the text. Key phrase extraction evaluates the text of a document and identifies its main talking points. Azure AI language detection identifies the language in which the text is written and sentiment analysis evaluates the text and returns sentiment scores and labels for each sentence. Question nine, which Azure resource provides direct access to both Azure AI translator and Azure AI speech services through a single endpoint and authentication key? So the option one is Azure AI bot service, option two is Azure AI services, option three, Azure machine learning, or option four, Azure AI language service. So what we're being tested here is the understanding of where to find specific Azure AI speech services translator within the Azure platform. And from all of these options here, uh, we know that the most generic service here called out is Azure AI services. Let's go ahead and check that answer. That is right. So the answer here is Azure AI services. And the full explanation is, Azure AI services provides direct link to both Azure AI translator and Azure AI speech services through a single endpoint and authentication key. Azure AI language service can be used to access the Azure AI language service, but not Azure AI translator and Azure speech services. The machine learning service is used to design, implement, and deploy machine learning models. Azure AI bot service provides a framework for developing, publishing, and managing bots in Azure. Question 10. When using the Azure AI service for language, what should you use to provide further information online about entities extracted from a text? Option one, entity linking. Option two, key phrase extraction. Option three, named entity recognition. Or option four, text translation. So the question here is pretty clear on the specific, specific information you want to know, right? To find further information online about entities extracted from a text. So it's generic entities. It's not named entity. 
right? It's also not key phrase extraction and it's not a translation. Therefore, the answer must be entity linking. And there we go. The answer is entity linking. And the explanation here is entity linking identifies and disambiguates the identity of entities found in a text. Key phrase extraction is not used to extract entities and is used instead to extract key phrases to identify the main concept in a text. Named entity recognition cannot provide a link for each identity entity to view further information. And text translation is part of the Azure AI translator service. Okay, with that, I hope I give you a, a quick snippet of what questions look like for the AI 900 exam. And of course, if you want to learn more about AI 900, of course, follow the link in the description and make sure you go through the free assessment to learn more about uh, what the, to get a feel of uh, what the questions look like in the exam. My experience is uh, go through the content, go through the learn material from Microsoft, and of course, go through a lot of other material online that you can find, particularly on YouTube. There's a call out to John Savile's content, which is amazing. So make sure you review all of those uh, videos and content. And of course, you make all good use of them. I know for a fact as well that there's a very thorough uh, course from Sushant, a colleague of mine at Microsoft, who, which is amazing as well. I would highly recommend you have a look at that course as well. With all that said and done, uh, see you next time.